Just want to bring you um, some uh, breaking news that's reaching us here at Sky Centre. Three improvised devices found around London. Viable explosives is what we are being told. Our senior correspondent, David Bowden, at City Airport for us. David, tell us. Yeah, three of these things all delivered to transport hubs. One of them close to Heathrow, one of them Waterloo Station, and one of them here in the building you can see behind me. About 100 people working there just after lunchtime uh, midday. They were all evacuated from that building, uh, and in went the bomb squad to check out these suspicious packages, or the one here anyway. Turns out these was a small device capable, according to the Metropolitan Police Counter Terror Command, of initiating a small fire. They don't know why anybody would send these things. They don't know why they were sent to administration buildings, not the actual airports, two airports, or the train station proper. They were sent to admin buildings like this one. The airport itself is over there, uh, and the same at Heathrow. And they don't know whether these are all linked, but the MO is exactly the same. Yellow jiffy bag inside a white A4 envelope with a small improvised explosive device, but intriguingly only capable, according to the police, of starting a very small fire key. What whoever sent them was trying to do, whether there are some more, we simply don't know. No arrests made so far. The police clearly investigating. Uh, OK, and they are telling people, presumably, uh, suspicious package, you're not sure what it is, contact them. Yeah, I mean, one of these packages was actually opened. It did start a very small fire and set the envelope on fire, but none of the others were. The police were called before anybody uh, did anything to it, apart from notice it was suspicious. Yes, keep your eyes out. Yes, the police will come and deal with it. There may be more. We simply don't know. At the moment, three of them, one at Heathrow, one here at City, one at Waterloo. Nobody hurt. Nothing really happened as far as the uh, movements of people around the airports was concerned. This one stayed open. Heathrow clearly has stayed open. And Waterloo, the trains were coming and going. It just affected the administrators in the building behind me. They're back in now. OK, for now, David, thank you. Thanks a lot. So, uh, what can we tell you? We can tell you, as David was saying there, just to sum up, three devices. They were Jiffy bag size A4. Uh, this is Waterloo Station that happened around about lunchtime. Before that, you see, just see the sniffer dog there, couldn't you? Uh, before that, there was uh, a device that was found uh, on or near Heathrow Airport in the uh, perimeter, one of the office buildings there, a uh, viable device, all three of them viable, and another one, um, uh, again, around lunchtime, found at London City Airport. So all three of those devices thought to be viable. One of them did explode. There could be others. Counter-terrorists say, be careful.